I'm scared. What is happening here? So. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's Louis Baby. PayPal me that money for that Louis Baby. You wanted me that money for that Louis Baby. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm back with a story time. And as you can um, see from the title, this is a story time. Um, today we're talking about literally one of the worst dates of my life. Um, so as you can see, it's called Date with My Story. So guys, this story time, as you know, I am eating. This time around, I'm having a pizza and it's a small one because it's a pizza for me. Just alone with some wine. So guys, this story time comes from... A few years ago from a few years ago I was single obviously this is I was single I was ready to mingle just living my life really um, and like I used to have Facebook at the time so as I'm on Facebook, like, I see this person has been, like, messaging me, right? And I've kind of just, like, been ignoring it, whatever. Eventually, I'm just like, let me just, let me check it out. Let me see what this person is about. And, guys, if you hear the one more, I am so sorry. They're constantly cutting something in this complex. Like, it's been like this the whole day. I even had to wait for the afternoon to film, and it's still like this. So, yeah, and the two nails let's move on let's move past it anyways so he messages me i eventually end up responding to this guy right because he's blowing up my phone man he keeps blowing up my phone keeps blowing up my phone and there was a time ne, where i don't know what was going on with my facebook or if it was glitching but it was giving out like my calling number so i'd constantly be missing calls or getting a call from someone i don't know and they'd keep saying tema tema and i'll be like the hell is this person right so um eventually um i messaged this person back i'm like hey what's up we start talking he's just like yeah can i take you out on a date blah blah blah, blah. so i'm like i mean i'm not really doing anything but like you know time of talking he's being very weird like he knows that i'm from midrand i never put that in on my facebook so I was like, how does this person know I'm from Midrand? He's like, I know you're from Midrand. Uh, well, he told me the high school I went to. So I'm like, okay, maybe that's where he took it. Because I did post my retreat dance pictures. But like, he's just telling me a bit more about myself than I'd expect someone who completely does not know me to know about. And mind you, this guy is not even from Midrand. He's not from centurion or the surrounding areas like he's far so now i'm concerned like how does he know so much about me so anyway cool i look past that first red flag um we're talking um the one day he insists like he wants to send me flowers can i give him my dress and i'm just like i'm not comfortable with that you'd rather give me the flowers when i meet you in person right i don't want you knowing where i stay so eventually cool we agree on a date right so the days leading to the date he's being very weird like i don't even know how to explain he's just he's all over the place he's calling me about stupid things he's just asking way too many details about myself that i am just not comfortable giving out um and then the day before the date he calls me he's like hey um what are your sizes i'm like my size is like yeah your clothing size are you small extra small medium like what are you he's asking for my bra size my shoe size i'm just like this is a lot but anyways i'm like no like i don't i wouldn't want you to buy me lingerie so rather like my clothing size like that i'm fine with you knowing right cool we have that conversation and even when i was telling him like i don't want him to know about my bra size like he got so offended by that he was so pissed he's like yeah but i'm gonna be i'm gonna end up being your boyfriend i was like mm, okay anyways the time comes the next day 
in the morning he was busy with like a lot of work right so he's just like hardly on his phone cool i'm just like going about my day i'm waiting for him to tell me which is like getting ready he comes back he shouts at me like why are you not ready i'm like uh -uh. dude like you're not on your phone you're at work i'm not gonna get ready and just sit in case we end up canceling like i'm not gonna do that so anyway he rushes me to do my face i do my face he's like so i'm like let's meet in santon because major and santon is closer to me um and then he's like no let's meet in greenstone and at this time it was my first time going to greenstone i'd never been that side before because I, I didn't know anyone from there so i'd never had a reason to be that side um so eventually cool i agree like okay cool like whatever fuck it let's go um so he's like no request an uber make it cash i'll pay when you get here i'm like okay cool because he wanted to request for me and you remember that dress thing so i didn't want him to request for me i was okay requesting for myself and he's like no it's fine let me just uber you here i mean just request and i'll pay so i get to him he takes us to some weird restaurant that i till today i've never come across the restaurant again even when I'm Greenstone side. I, I don't even know what area of Greenstone that was. But that was literally the weirdest restaurant. It looked like... <sighs> I don't even know how to explain what it looked like. Like... <sighs> Dude. Just know it was hella weird. Um, the people in there were hella weird as well. Like everything was just weird about that place. So we I, I get there. I find him there. He comes pays for Uber. We go inside um he's like yeah this is the waiter he's telling me her name whatever cool so i'm talking to her she's like what do i eat i'm like i'm not hungry yet so let me just get a drink first right so he's like he's coming back he's going to go fix something because he keeps getting calls so he's like i'm coming back i'm gonna go fix something so i'm like oh okay cool so he leaves um so he leaves for a while so i eventually end up ordering like a pizza hence the day mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so ended up ordering a pizza because i'm like i'm still waiting for this guy to come back eventually he comes back after like what felt like 30 or 40 minutes he comes back he sits down um we talk a bit i order my second drink and like he's giving me a speech about alcohol and like how it's gonna ruin me and how it's unholy and all of that and he's trying to touch my face and i'm just like no no let's not do that i'm not that comfortable with you so um now he's rushing for the day to finish he's like no 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 um i need you to come with me somewhere quickly i'm like oh, this, this is giving this is giving human trafficking because we just got here. I wanted to meet in a public place. Now you want us to go somewhere. So I'm like, nah, dude. Like, if that's the situation, I'd rather go home. Like, I'm not going to do that. He's like, no, dude. It's literally just opposite this place. We're going to walk there. Because, oh, he wanted us to get in the car. And I said, no. I don't want to get in the car with you. I don't want to do that. So he's like, no, it's fine. Um, I can leave my car here. And we'll just walk there. So we walk there. And it's a fucking hotel, right? So I'm like, no, dude, I'm not getting inside this hotel. Like, I don't know what's going on in this hotel. I, I'm not doing that. I don't know what you've organized for me inside this hotel. I am not doing that. He's like, no, dude, I just want you to come see what I did for you. I'm like, why did you do, do it for me inside a hotel? We never spoke about a hotel. That was never part of our agreement. So what are we doing at a hotel? He's like, no, dude. So eventually, I'm just like, oh, okay, let me see what it is, right? So as I'm walking past reception, I'm like to the lady, you better make sure I come out. Right? And I said it was a joke, but I'm like, for real. Like, so we walk in. I'm going to get inside the room. There's like a big plastic bag of clothes. Like, gang. <laughs> There's a big plastic bag full of clothes. <laughs> uh, and then like on the table. There's a cake. I, I remember this there was a cake like a fruit um thing like I, I forgot what it's called but like just a lot of fruits put in like one thing 
ultra male i will never forget the ultra male like that is something that stuck out for me because i was like what is going on here ultra male all right jelly like uh, the one that they sell spa with inside the uh, the one that's already made let me just tell you that um some flowers shame chocolates a lot of snacks just a lot of things on the table so now i'm confused like okay so he's like yeah i got you these things i'm like oh thanks why he's like no because we're on a date da, 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 da. so i'm like so could you not wait for me to at least finish my pizza when we're still there and then you can come show me this because he rushed me as i was still eating he was like no 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 let's go let's go let's go out and go show you this so i'm like no dude like what's going on like He's like, no, I want to show you this. I'm do something nice for you as my girlfriend. I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I am not your girlfriend. We are just talking. We just started talking like a few weeks ago. Let's let, let's not do that. And um, just to also make it a bit more clear, um, him and I, there was a a language barrier. He didn't know English that well because he did not really grow up in a country where they speak a lot of English. So coming here, his English it had a lot of bits and pieces. So there was a lot that would get lost in translation, like on phone calls or on text. And I'd be so confused about what he's talking about, right? Okay, cool. So I've just made that clear, right? So now when we're at the hotel, I'm like, oh, no, I'm not your girlfriend. He's like, you're not my girlfriend? I'm like, no, like, we're talking, but I, I'm not your girlfriend. You have not even asked me to be your girlfriend. So he's like, yeah, so be my girlfriend. I'm just like, there's a lot that's going on here that this guy's not understanding where I'm coming from. Um, so then I'm just like, okay, cool. Um, I'm going to leave because I'm not comfortable right now. I'm not comfortable being in a hotel room this is a lot for me like i don't know man i was just very overwhelmed because he was a very pushy guy on top of everything like very pushy very like abrasive with the way that he spoke so there was a lot that was going on so cool um he's like he's insisting like okay no if it's fine then if you're gonna leave um leave with your gifts i'm like where am i going to start where am i where am I going to take these things? I'm already holding a big box of pizza and you still want me to carry a cake, a big ass cake, guys, like those Woolies ones. You want me to carry that cake, the ultra mail, the snacks, and all of and these things are no longer in plastics. Like where are the plastics? Like how am I gonna hold these things? Because he now threw away the plastics, because I guess he did that whole thing for me. So I'm just like, I don't know, dude. Like, I don't know I'm gonna do this. Um so as we're having this conversation, he's like, okay, at least can you fit the clothes for me? I'm like, I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, like, I bought you all these clothes. At least let me see if they fit you. So the ones that don't fit you, I can return them. And I'm like, I, I don't want to do that. I do not want to do that. I actually, I'm genuinely, I, I don't want to dress in front of you. I don't know you. I'm not going to undress and dress. He's like, yeah, you can dress in the bathroom. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. Like, okay he's like okay can you at least fit the shoes so okay cool i fit the shoes they fit me he's like okay cool then if the shoes fit you then at least everything else will fit you but i still bought you some lingerie because you look like a i forgot the bra size that he said and i'm like there's a there's a, there's a lot going on here there is a lot so cool um if eventually like I talk him into like letting me leave because like now he's insisting like I must just stay the night and like he doesn't want to open the door like he's standing right by the door as he's saying all of this so now I'm starting to panic obviously because I'm like this is really scary for me so eventually I think he's still like I'm very stressed and like I'm trying to like seem as chilled as I could possibly be when I could literally see that like my life is in danger anyway um eventually he's like okay cool um request then i'll i'm gonna go back to work i'm like okay cool um i request and at this point like i'm so over this date like i'm ready to request with my own money and be gone he's like did you make it cash i'm like no i'm gonna make it card he's like no don't make it cash i mean don't make it card i'll still give you the cash 
I'm like, okay, cool. But now he's angry. So like, even when he's speaking to me, he's like shouting at me and he's screaming at me. And it's just a back and forth between him and I. There's just a lot that's going on. I am overwhelmed. I don't cry. I don't go home. I'm regretting even leaving my mom's house. I'm like, if this person traffics me, if this person, like, I'm just thinking the worst out of the situation because men cannot be trusted, you know? So eventually, um, I request and my Uber gets here. So when my Uber is not outside, so I'm like, okay, cool. Can you walk me to the Uber? Cause I have a lot of things to carry. Cause now I have all of these gifts and the, the snacks are loose and all of that. So like, how am I going to carry that into the Uber? So we, he has like a whole back and forth with me about why am I even leaving in the first place? Now I want his help, whatever. I'm just like, dude, like just you brought me these things. I can leave them here. You insist that I'm leaving with him. And then he's like, so what am I going to drop out the hotel room? I'm like, eh, you sleep here. Uh -uh. It's not my problem that you book something without consulting with me. Um, eventually, he goes with me to the Uber. And he's shouting, he's shouting in like his native language. I have no idea what he's saying. He's shouting, shouting, shouting. I'm just like, oh my God. When we, um, when we open the door, the Uber driver is also confused. Like, what's going on? Okay, the Uber driver helps me put, in, put everything in. Uh, this guy goes into his pocket and takes out a stack <laughs> takes out a stack of money and he gives it to me and I'm like okay why he's like no I'm still gonna give you this either way so I took it out for you so this is yours he gives me a stack of money I'm like okay this is wild I'm not gonna say no to money so I leave with it <laughs> I leave with it and um okay cool on our way to the house he's like blowing up my phone he's like begging me then swearing at me then begging me then swearing at me like this is happening I'm, i haven't even responded like he's speaking to himself he'll be like please baby come back da, da, da. then he'll be like fuck you tell me you're such a bitch da, da, da. then and i'm just like i'm scared what is happening here so i get home um, I literally left the Uber driver with like the fruits and some of the snacks because there was too many things. I do not know what I was going like, to say when I get home. What am I going to say to my mom? At least with the clothes, I can lie. But all of these things, I get home, I give the cake to our helper. I'm like, girl, take. I give my sister some snacks. Like, I am over the stage. I call my cousin. I'm showing her the clothes. We're just laughing because I'm like, this, is, this has been the weirdest stage. I have ever been on it, it has been hell okay cool so when I get home he calls me he's like have you arrived I'm like yes I have he's like oh okay cool he starts apologizing for his behavior so I'm like okay cool um it's whatever dude like just just don't do shit like that again like that is very concerning so I give him a whole lecture about it he's listening he's like yeah I'm so sorry um mm. he's apologizing and all of that so that night like i just decided i was not going to talk to him like i wanted to spend he acted like he understood until the next day came and he's calling me calling me calling me I'm not answering. And then the, <laughs> the next message is I'm outside your gate. I'm like, you win? He's like, yeah, come outside. I'm outside your gate. I brought you something. I'm like, what are you doing outside my gate? You don't know my chest. How do you even know my chest? What are you doing? What, what are you actually doing in my house? He's like, dude, just come outside. So eventually I walk outside to actually check, like, is he bluffing or is he serious? <sighs> that man was outside. He was outside my gate with flowers again, insisting, like, no, let me at least take you out somewhere here around the area. I'm like, no, I don't want to go with you. How do you know my address? How did you find out where I stay? How did you do that? Because I requested my own Uber. How, how did you find out where I stay? So cool. He won't answer how he found out where I stay. Um, 
But when I walk back inside, I tell myself, I am done with this person. I'm not doing this shit with this person. I'm blocking him. So I block him on WhatsApp. I block him on calling. I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to deal with the psychopath. He starts blowing me up with different people's phones. Every number he calls me, I block it. Every number he calls me, I block it. He's wild. One day he's wilding. One day he's apologizing. One day he's making noise, he's being psychopathic. He's coming to my mom's complex. He's standing outside screaming that I must come see him. I dealt with this guy doing like this nonsense for a good two weeks. Just up and down. So I was just over it. I wasn't even... I was just like, I'm not doing this shit anymore. Um, and then um, one day he just stops. He stops for a while. And I'm like, thank God. Right. Um, so he starts texting me on Facebook, trying to be like, hey, 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 I'm not responding. Then he'll sweat me. Then he'll try to call me on, on Messenger. Then sweat me again. Then one day he found my Instagram trying to call me multiple times like this i was like nothing this guy harassing me and trying to get a hold of me went on from 2017 to 2019 he kept trying to call me randomly with people's numbers and i forget about him because he'd be quiet for a while then he'll call me and be like yeah you're my wife da, 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 da. when i find you whatever because i moved from that um we moved from that complex in 2017 i think or was it i forgot i think it was 2018 we moved and we moved to a new estate so when he'd pull up there he wouldn't find me and i'd even forgotten about him so i apparently the security there would tell him like she doesn't stay here anymore and he wouldn't believe it um so when he's now blowing up my phone and like swinging at me on instagram and then apologizing and then insisting to send me money and all of that and like he'll be like can i email at you and i'll literally not respond and then i'll see like money gotten from him on email it and i'll be like i'll withdraw it i will i will take it out but i still won't talk to him and it just got to a point where I was just, I was over it. I messaged him, I'm like, dude, please stop harassing me. Like, this is scaring me. This is not what some, it's not going to convince me to be with you. In, in fact, it's making me want to be as far away as possible from you. There's, there's areas I stopped going to because he frequented there because of the fact that I did not want to bump into him. I was scared of what could possibly happen when I bump into this person because he's been harassing me. And then the last time he contacted me was like end of 2019 and he calls me and like I've forgotten about him because like the last time we spoke and like I messaged him back was like beginning of 2019. So like end of 2019 he calls me and like I've forgotten about him. So he's like hello and I'm like hey who's this person and he's talking and then like it clicks as he speaks I'm like it's this guy right. And then, and I've already started responding back. So like now I'm like, damn. He's like, yeah, so when when should I come back in your life? I'm like, don't come back in my life. Don't do it. He's like, no, it's fine. I'm giving you two years and I'm going to come back. And I so hope to God this person does not come back. I hope he does not see this video. I In that moment, nah, like you watch movies and you see people having stalkers or people who harass them or exes that won't leave them. And like you never think it'll be you. You, you. you just, you never think of it coming to you. And then you meet a man like that. Then you meet a man like that who does not take no for an answer. Who does not handle rejection well. And he has just told himself, I am his hand. And that was it. And he had convinced himself that, like, I had agreed to things he said when I had not. He'd convinced himself that, like, him coming to my house was okay, which it was not. And it was scary. And, like, even when I'd walk back in the um, complex and he'd look at me, I would go another direction so he doesn't see exactly where I stay. Because I, I didn't want him to at least... One day he finds access into our complex, I stay with my family. I, uh, do that so yeah guys that is my story time i know it's short but 
it was just one of the wildest experiences of my life and like if i went into every detail of this person like i would need more than 30 minutes or 20 minutes to share the story i'd need a good five hours to go about everything that he'd say to me the messages that he'd send to me the phone calls and all of that like i even try to find pictures on my phone but like i deleted everything and i'm gonna try and find some of the stuff that he bought me and if i do find it i'll i'll insert some pictures but if i don't i'm sorry but like it was just like the most random shit that he'd bring me as a gift when he'd come to my house and he'd not leave until i'd come outside and it was just horrendous and i'm thankful i'm past that but anyway guys thank you for the support um i hope you guys enjoyed the story time i hope it was interesting enough <laughs> and yeah i just be careful guys men are crazy out there <laughs> and if these guys watching us don't be that man don't be like him don't be obsessive because you like someone that is very scary for women and especially in the climate of this country it's very 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 scary but anyway guys thank you guys catch you in the next video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you've watched this video please take your snaps tag me on instagram so i can see it and show you some love comment down below what you think about this guy um i'm gonna try and access my old facebook and maybe in my vlog i might show you some of the messages that he'd send me because i just want you guys to see like the nonsense i would have to deal with like i even deleted that facebook i deactivated that facebook and had a new facebook just so i could get away from him that's how bad it was but anyway guys love you guys see you in the next video